Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here. <clears throat> it's time for another GoBots review. And this time around we're taking a look at the Guardian GoBot Smallfoot. Now Smallfoot would be <clears throat> would be released in 1984 and she would be available in 1985. She would be discontinued in 1986, I believe just before the toy line would be taken out of circulation. Smallfoot here is a female GoBot and was the most prominent of the Guardian female GoBots to be seen in the cartoon. But of course in it she was presented as a relative newbie to the GoBotron Defense Force Thus, she was eager to please her superiors, but more often than not, she ended up overstepping her bounds and would find herself kidnapped or held ransom by the renegades. Or getting herself severely injured in the process. So, not exactly a progressive step forward for the presentation of females in what would be a, bo a predominantly boys-dominated toy line. But at any rate, let's take a look at her articulation. She has about what was standard for most GoBots. You can rotate her arms at the shoulder all the way around. And you can bend her legs at the knee, so we could probably, if we can get it to sit right, we can put her in something of a running pose, but her leg hangs too loose, so she wouldn't stand up that way. Oh, well, such is life. And, of course, we do want to point out that she does have rubber tires here. These do come off very easily. Let you have a good look at this. Genuine rubber tires, folks. They don't make them like this anymore. You know, just gently slide that back on. And there we go. Now let's get ready and convert Smallfoot into her alternate mode. First thing we're going to do is we've got to remove this black piece from her chest. Of course I want to point out that this piece I'm pulling out is made of plastic. But a fair amount of her body is made of metal like the rest of her chest area, chest and torso is made of metal as are her upper legs everything else is plastic so she's a rough and tumble toy she'll take the abuse now we push her head down get her arms to point straight down and we push them in at the sides and then we'll sit her upright we fold her legs all the way up and over then, of course, this black piece we removed earlier will insert here on these holes on her head to put the front bumper in. And here is Smallfoot's alternate mode, a pickup truck. More specifically, she is a Toyota Hilux SR5. And at the time she was made, and the, the original toy was made in the late 1970s to the very early 1980s, it was law in Japan that any toy line that featured uh, real cars and trucks had to have a Toyota Hilux included in there. I've not found any reasoning as to why that is. My best guess is that probably... Somebody in the Japanese parliament had ties to Toyota, and Toyota wanted the truck promoted. 
But in reality, the Toyota Hilux really speaks for itself. As it is a very high quality truck and is relatively easy to maintain and keep running. As various mercenary and unfortunately terrorist groups have been able to use these as part of their vehicle fleets due to the ease of keeping them in operation. And of course the Toyota Hilux was also featured in the Transformers as that is the alternate mode of Trailbreaker and also of his duplicate Hoist. Both of them are also Toyota Hiluxes but they're a slightly different model than what Smallfoot is. And as of course mentioned in one of my earlier videos, the Toyota Hilux was also seen on the British comedy series Last of the Summer Wine, very late in the series when they got the character of Electric Entwistle. He drove a Toyota Hilux that was on the opposite spectrum of the truck in the fact that his was constantly breaking down. Almost forgot, you folks would probably like to know how well does small foot roll here on this table. Well, as you can see, rolls pretty good. Not as perfect as what Tux did the other week, but it's still pretty good, very good to roll around on this smooth surface. Especially if she happens to have all four tires on her. Now, Smallfoot does have some loose pieces, and we're going to show them to you here. Do things a little bit differently. Like for starters, we have this. This is her front bumper. This is probably the piece that's most commonly missing due to the fact that it is removed all the time to tr convert her between her two modes. And as you can also see here from this side view, it is very thin plastic. <coughs> Pardon me. So it does get lost very easily and probably wound up in more than a few vacuum cleaners. Then we also have these two pieces here at the back of the truck. She's got a two-piece roll cage, or roll bar, I should say, for the back of the truck. Of course, it's not, all, it's not easy to tell here on camera, especially with my shadows getting in the way. They are slightly different. So the bar that comes down more further into the bed of the truck is on opposite sides on these pieces. Let me set them down here on the table. Lay down flat. We'll zoom in on them here and Try to see if you can see them a little bit better there. I mean, those pieces don't come out very easily, but if you take a look here at the truck bed, we'll kind of show. Use the other hand, stupid. As you can see, the hole patterns here. The roll bars will only fit in one. I wish you wouldn't move while we try to do this. The roll bars only fit into one of them. <clears throat> and there you go. So always, if you're buying a loose sample of her, make sure to check those. They should be on there since, like I said, they don't get removed for any real reason, but you never know. And of course, if any of you haven't figured it out, 
Smallfoot's name is a play on Bigfoot, the famous monster truck. Although she bears no resemblance to that truck. But I guess that's just their way of making fun of it, especially since she's not modified to be a monster truck. So I guess the name does in a way fit with her. And at any rate, let's get on to my thoughts. What do I think of Smallfoot? The toy itself is a pretty good toy. I will give Smallfoot that much in credit. It's basically what you see is what you get, and with her being of a pickup truck, it does lead to a little bit of adventure, because... As you can imagine, she would have the suspension and whatnot to be able to go into a few places that more of the race car type GoBots wouldn't be able to get to as easily. Unless, of course, they're flying, but we're not going to get into that. But as a toy, what you see is definitely what you get, so she's not doing any false advertising with that. The things that I have the most problems with on Smallfoot is the character. Her over-eagerness to earn the praise and support of her superiors, often in many of the episodes, became a cliché. I mean, it was even done in the GoBots movie, Battle of the Rock Lords. She gets captured and spends a fair amount of the movie stuck inside Thruster. And needs the two human teenagers to come rescue her. So it's kind of, that's just pathetic. And unfortunately it got old pretty fast. Of course as a kid you don't mind those things. But as an adult looking back, that kind of hurts the character overall. So hopefully if they do decide to do something new with the GoBots... Something is done to update her character to make her a little less pathetic and try to make her more of a better symbol for any female fans out there instead of turning her into the overeager damsel in distress character, which is unfortunately overblown and no longer suitable in today's media. But... <clears throat> Overall, I'm going to put Smallfoot about in the middle tier. Since if you can get over her character flaws, the toy itself is a worthy and welcome addition to any Transforming Robot Toy Collector's collection. And that concludes my review of the Guardian Gobot Smallfoot. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget as well to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join up within our ranks. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later. Bye for now.